All right, guys, I'm going to show you how I code when it comes to sports, especially recently, right? I'll gather as much information as I can. I'll have a clear lean, but I'll give you information for all outcomes. But if 90% of my code is for one outcome, it's pretty obvious with any type of common sense who I'm leaning. I'm just not a coder who says something's a lock, like the average coder who's wrong nearly every time. I won't say it's a lock. I like to reveal it, and you'll see here how my website operates. Brighton versus Man City. This is a big game for City, and either they have the most cleanest riddle I've ever seen, or it's a huge trap. Please add anything you see. I will be so shocked if Man City lose this game and should win. So if they go down, I will take them double chance. That means not to lose. And if they take the lead, to bet smart. So City were minus 250, Brighton were double chance. So City came into this game, minus 250, Brighton's double chance was plus 190. The odds indicated City were going to win. But the odds also indicated that Liverpool were going to win against Everton, and they didn't. And I actually had Liverpool to win that, and they got beat 2-0, and I shared nothing for Everton. My whole code was Liverpool, got that wrong. But throughout the season, I've done amazing in all football leagues again but I'm not right all the time now let's look at the code and you guys can leave a comment in the chat and tell me who did I think was going to win this game because I don't know who's going to win but who did I think by the code Guardiola has confirmed that top scorer Erling Haaland will miss Thursday's game as he continues to recover from a minor muscle issue but both Phil Foden who missed training on Tuesday along with Haaland and John Stones are in contention to face Brighton so this was third against 11th, that 311 I talk about all the time. COVID-19 was declared a global pandemic on 311. 311 is the 64th prime number and the teams last met six months and four days ago. Three times 11 equals 33 and this is both teams 33rd league game of the season. The Queen died 911 days after COVID-19 was declared a global pandemic. And 3.11 p.m. is the 911th minute of the day. You'll see the player who closed the score in today in City's 4-0 win against Brighton was Alvarez, number 19. And he scored after 62 minutes. And in Gematria, Queen equals 19 and 62. And the Queen was first vaccinated for COVID-19 on 1-9. And she was coronated on 6-2. Okay, he closed the score in number 19. In my code, I've got COVID-19. All right. The game is on 25-4. The Queen was born with 254 days left in the year. She was born on the 111th day of the year. She was born in 1926. Foden scored after 26 minutes. Queen and Gematria equals 26. 9-11 was on the 254th day of 2001. I've mentioned the 9-11s here, how it connects to the 3-11, how it connects to COVID. 73 date emoji pure, 4 plus 25 plus 20 plus 24 equals 73. Man City can stay on seven draws and three losses in the league. So here's Man City now in second position. On 73 date emoji pure, they stayed on seven draws and three losses in the league. In Gematria... Queen equals 73, and she was married to Prince Philip for 73 years, and Man City just won the treble on Prince Philip's 102nd birthday, the day I was baptised, and 9-11 lasted 102 minutes. 73 is the 21st prime number. Man City can get their 21st win versus Brighton, which they did. The Queen married Philip at age 21. Man City beat Brighton 2-1 the last game they met, which was at the Etihad. Now they're going to Brighton and putting five past them. Away, guys. 21 is the six triangular number. Man City can stay on six losses in all competitions. Notice as well, guys, 21-6 is Prince William's birthday, the eldest son of King Charles III, who was the eldest son of Elizabeth and Philip. Queen Elizabeth had four children. 
Okay, I just did my video about the four horsemen. The United Kingdom has four nations. Queen Elizabeth's Platinum Jubilee lasted four days. Again, guys, remember I wrote a book about the Queen years ago. And just look how these numbers just keep playing out. All right, try not to focus on me, though. Just pay attention to this code and what happened. King Charles III was coronated on 5-6. Man City can stay on five draws and six losses all time to Brighton. Royal family equals 56 in Geometria. Charles was coronated on the 126th day of 2023. Pep can advance to 701 points in the Premier League if City win. 701 is the 126 prime number. Brighton can stay on 44 points in the league. Now, the UK dialing code is plus 44. Now, the Queen died on a date when 8-9, the 8th of September, and 89 is the 11th Fibonacci number. And her funeral was 11 days after she died. And it began at 11 a.m., which I showed you was all connected to war. I've been showing you this for a long time. All right? Every year we remember that the guns of the First World War ceased firing at 11 a.m. on 11 11, 1918. Now look at Brighton, guys. This should be blowing your mind. It's absolutely mind blowing this. All right? Brighton, in 11th position, have 11 wins, 11 draws, and 11 losses. How remarkable is that? So Phil Foden scoring two goals. There's no shock. He wears number 47 and 4 plus 7 equals 11. All right. Remember I told you all Foden would have the season of his life. He'll be the best player in the Premier League this season. Before the season began, because he wears number 47... And this year, the US is going to announce its 47th US president and how King Charles was born with 47 days left in the year and how Queen Elizabeth married Prince Philip in 1947. And look what's happening with Foden. Now, you can approach it by saying, well, Phil Foden's class, it's not that much of a big call saying he was going to have a big season. He plays for the best team in the world. Guys, is absolutely dominating it this season, and it's because of the code. But what I'm going to show you here, sometimes I'll leave a tiny bit of information for the other team. Okay, it's clear here that that code for Manchester City is exceptional, but there's so many people desperate for value, so I'll give them some information if they want to take that. Look how small this code is here for Brighton. And I clearly said City are not going to lose the game. So the Man City code was perfect. I left a tiny code for Brighton not to lose. All right? And it turns out that this code that I did here, I'll hold my hands up. This code's wrong. All right? It had no factor other than... Yes, the last time the teams played at Brighton, it finished 1-1, which just backs up all my 11s. But I said City can get the eighth draw in all competitions and stay on nine losses. That was wrong because I coded this at like 2 a.m. City could have gotten their ninth draw and stayed on six losses and the Queen died at age 96 and the Jubilee lasted 96 hours. All right? But again, I got it wrong. So the main thing I saw for Brighton wasn't even right. My bad, I rarely make that error. I said Brighton have only lost one of their last 15 fixtures in all competitions at home, so they're clearly doing well at home. And that can become one out of 16 on the 116th day of the year if they don't lose. But it's now two out of 16, which goes here with my 21-6. Brighton have now lost two games at home in the last 16. So my fact is, guys, my code for Man City was absolutely spectacular. It doesn't mean I have 100% conviction that they're going to win. I've seen great codes miss. More often than not, my codes hit. I don't have the same level of conviction I once had. I just like to reveal it. 
I was like, I really hope City win for this video. But I ain't perfect. And like I said, even here with Brighton, this information here is incorrect. All of this is perfect. There's no issues. But then look at this. Look at my members who are incredible. Here's what I found so far, which aligns with your code, Adam. All right? Sirius is an unbelievable coder. And he coded Siri because he can read my codes. He knew that I liked Siri. But I leave information sometimes for the other team because people so desperately want value. They're like, what am I going to do with minus 250? All right, if you want value, try this riddle with Brighton. I think City are going to win. But look at this. De Zerbi can get his 135th career loss today, exactly 130 weeks and five days after City last beat Brighton away. Look, seven likes, guys. We're a team on my website. All right? If you look at how they code, they code my style more often than not. And I'm okay with that. I'm happy with that. I want them to back up the information I find. City can advance to 125 points this season today, 98 days after Pep's 53rd birthday. The Queen was coronated in 53, died on 9-8, and a funeral was on 19-9. Pep Guardiola equals 125 and 199. So look, 125 points. It was actually his 53rd game in all competitions as well. All right? 39th win in all competitions. World War II began in 39. It just all comes together. So incredible stuff and then smoggy said this is great decoding serious all right which it was brighton can get their 100th premier league loss today on 25 4 25 times 4 equals 100 it's about a year and a half ago when i started doing this i'd get the date all right and i times the day by the month All right, thanks, bro. Just adding more support, the City win. Amazing, mate. All right, and then he's given a few options for the draw for people, okay? But his code was City. We all saying City are not losing this, but he said here, such a hard game of code as either outcome is just as beautiful in the code, but City should take this because it's just ridiculous. Here's more for Man City. Seeing as it's their 33rd match this season, if City win, Pep could get his 1,089th point in his career. 33 times 33 is 1,089. Brighton would be 11, 11, 11. You add up those 11s, it gives you 33. All right. It said COVID was declared on 311, which was 1,056 days ago. 156. Is the prime of 9-11. All right. It's just remarkable stuff. With a win, Pep can advance to 2,061 career points in Brighton's 261st Premier League game. Check this. He'd get his 647th career win. 647 is the 118th prime. 118 is Pep Guardiola's birthday. Okay, can you see how incredible this stuff is? Now, T. Maney, he said, I feel that when big teams lose, the other big teams will also follow that trend. All right? That's not what happened, but that was his opinion. And that's fine. We share our opinions. Wi-Fi mogul. Thank you, Adam. Also, today's date is 425. 4 times 25 equals 100. Brighton can get their 100th Premier League loss. And Man City can get their 524th Premier League win. All right? 524 is 425 reversed. All right, we're working together. So Wi-Fi Mogul said if Brighton do lose and go 11-11-11, keep an eye on number 20, Bernardo Silva. So Bernardo Silva assisted. All right, you can get great value on players to assist, better than to score more often than not. All right, Bernardo, he assisted. Okay, and he said Silva was born on the 222nd day of the year, which is August the 10th. I know that coronavirus was declared a global pandemic exactly 222 months after 9-11, which synced with the code. Silver's birthday was 37 weeks ago. Today's date has 37 date numerology. I know Queen Elizabeth became the queen on the 37th day of 1952. So it made sense for Bernardo to have an impact. 
and he assisted. I said, quality, mate, thanks. Awesome, mate, thank you. All right? Rico, one of the best there is at coding goal scorers or a player to get an assist. KDB to score. He opened the scoring. KDB, number 17 after 17 minutes. I just did a live stream about Revelation 17, 17. All right, how God has handed over the kingdom to the beast. All right, how perfect. And what a code. At the age of 11,991 days old, so there's a lot of nines and ones, he can score his 102nd goal for the club. 9-11 attack lasted 102 minutes. Prince Philip turned 102 the day that City and KDB won the treble. 19 weeks and 6 days before the anniversary of 9-11, can score against Brighton, Kevin De Bruyne equals 196. Brighton and Hove Albion equals 196. 64 days before his birthday, Manchester City equals 64. Now I said it was 3rd against 11th, 64th prime. All right, one year, six months, three days after his last goal against Brighton, Manchester City equals 163. 19 days after his last Premier League goal, goal equals 19. Assist, can get his 110th Premier League assist. World Trade Center had 110 floors, okay? And KDB, he didn't assist, but he scored. But his code here, his long code, is for the goal. There's a lot more information for him to score than there is to assist. Now, many took KDB to score. Maybe some took him to assist. And they'll be angry that they didn't take him to score and then blame me. And then the V Dragon, well done, brother. He even scored in the 17th minute, number 17. And I said, wow, read Revelation 17, 17. Rico, goal de Bruyne. Ball crossed in by Walker. De Bruyne in acres of space and heads it into the top corner. Again, acres of space. The best players in the world, eh? Where's the defenders half of the time? Why is KDB in acres of space? Then Rico had Foden to score. Full Foden to score. In his 160th Premier League match, can score against Brighton. Brighton Hove Albion Football Club equals 160. A span of five years, six days after his first Premier League goal. Full Foden goal equals 56. Manchester equals 56. I put in my code, Man City can stay on five draws and six losses against Brighton. I said King Charles III was coronated on 5-6. Now Rico codes differently to me. I don't do things like type in full Foden goal equals 56. He does and it works for him. 11 months, one day after his last goal against Brighton, Philip Walter Foden goal equals 111. I'll tell you that Elizabeth was born the 111th day of the year. I'll tell you 9-11 occurred with 111 days left in the year. All right. And I said, quality, mate, thank you. Lots of 11s and he wears 47 and 4 plus 7 equals 11. I said, Doc, who wears number 11? I don't even know if he played, but I was just letting him know who City's number 11 was. And then Rico said, go Foden. All right. And he said, and there's the brace. But here he said, there could be a hat trick. Here's some numbers. There were no hat trick. But he's just sharing the numbers. You can see why he thought it. 333 days after his birthday and 33 days before his birthday. But of course, how I see this is, this was Brighton and Man City's 33rd Premier League game of the season. And the player who starred was Foden. And he starred 33 days before his birthday. I see it. I go deep. And I let people know amazing work. All right? Because we help each other. This code, this information is breathtaking. My code led to Rico coding Foden and KDB. Okay? And Sirius is incredible code for City. It's like, wow, this is incredible. Not one of us said Brighton were going to win or implied Brighton were going to win. My code was 90% City winning. And they won. And it was incredible code. And those people on Twitter who say I lie about my picks, no, I don't lie about my picks. I share this information. I often have a clear lean. More often than not, I won't even give anything for the other team. But sometimes I do. And for me in this game, I wanted to show this. I wanted to show this. When I keep talking about 11, 11, 11, with Queen Elizabeth and with World War I. I wanted to show this. 
I told you that all the top teams, City, Arsenal, Liverpool, they heavily connect to war. I've shown you all of that. I said this would be a three-horse race, and it still is. Okay, it still is. There's only four games left for most of the teams. City have a game in hand. Okay, they have a game in hand. They play Forest next. And who knows in this Premier League? I'll have to code it. Who knows? All right? We're living in a world now where Forest could beat City. I highly doubt it. I highly doubt it. Forest could stay on 26 points. Queen equals 26. She became the queen on 2-6. She died two months and six days before King Charles III's birthday. All right. Forest can get their 19th loss in the league. Stay on 26 points. The queen was born in 1926. I'm looking at that straight away and I'm thinking City win. But I need to go deeper. I need to go deeper. But I might say, listen guys, somehow if Forest pull off a shock, they can get their eighth win in the league and stay on nine draws. And the Queen died on a date written 8-9, but I doubt it. Because I like that they can stay on 9 draws and get their 19th loss. And the Queen's funeral was on 9-19. It's why number 9 Haaland and number 19 Alvarez signed on the same day for Man City. And I might be like, Forrest probably don't score. They'll probably stay on 42 goals scored. The Beast reigns for 42 months. Alright? I'll look into it. And I might leave one line. I might leave that one line for Forrest with the 8-9... And people will be like, he didn't have a clear pick. He didn't have a clear pick, did he? No, I've got like 25 lines for City to win and one line on why they might not. Do you know what I mean? That don't make me a fraud. So these people who are misleading you, okay? Do I get codes wrong? Yes. Do I get the majority right? Yes. Are the codes that I do profound the majority of the time and hit? Yes. Am I perfect? No, not at all. But this code, this code here is spectacular. All right? And all the comments in the chat were so insightful. Or you can focus on this. All right? Me saying, if you think it's too much of a trap, you don't have to take City if you want value. All right? You decide who you trust in this world. But the fact is, I'm doing better work than any decoder. All right, at exposing these sports and my hit rate is better than the majority of them still. Again, how many coders this year have already called seven futures? Tell me one in the chat, okay? So don't trust these people. Their hearts are rotten, they're darkened and they're deceivers and they call me the deceiver, all right? And on my website, I do make updates. I'll do a post, I'll look at it again, maybe 30 minutes later. I'll add stuff to it, okay? That's what I do. It's my website. So if they're screenshotting things saying he said this and now he's saying that and look, I've got the screenshot that said that he said this. I update stuff, guys. All right? I add stuff. I might have a mate message me saying, oh, did you see that? Or maybe Sirius does a code. I could have added it in, but I didn't need to. I saw seven people liked it. Man City came in with 214 away wins, guys. The Queen's birthday. Now you could say, are they going to stay on that? You could look at it that way, but no. Sirius looks ahead to the Forest game. He thinks City are going to get the 216th away win in Pep's 300th match. And I've told you, the movie 300's about war. 300's the 24th triangular number. City can get the 24th win in the league this season. So we look ahead, guys. My website's remarkable. And the fact that I only charge $10 is incredible. My Ryan Garcia video, see how many decoders are talking about Garcia and exposing him and shining light on the gospel. Or how many are just trying to code if Garcia's going to win with a half-ass shitty code. Anyways, guys, take care. Thanks for supporting my work. God wins. Woo!